All right, Cameron Buford. Got Ava Knight here with me in preparation for a big fight here in the Forum in Inglewood, California. How you feeling, Ava? I feel great. You feel great? I'm ready for Saturday. You ready? Yeah. Why are you so? What, your training camp? You had a good training camp that I makes you so prepared. Makes you prepared. Training camp. I got my ass beat. I beat <laughs> So, so is it a good thing to get your ass beat in training camp, though? I think so. I, okay. I, I think a person who does something perfect every single time isn't learning, or they're just not having good enough competition against them. Okay, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, uh, this, this just came to my head. For the fight on Saturday, how are you going to wear your hair, and then how do you decide what style to wear it in? Uh, you just want it to be out of your way. Obviously, okay. I, like in boxing, I just twist it up because I hate having my hair pulled. But okay. in MMA, with the fact that you can get taken down, your head rubbed all over the ground, okay. you gotta have it braided up. So I will. I'll have it braided. Up. You have it braided. Do you do, do you braid it yourself, or no, you have somebody else? I don't else even know how to braid. I bring someone. <laughs> I bring someone in for it. Okay. Okay. So in this training camp, um, how much scouting of your opponent do you do? Or are you more focused on kind of learning new techniques, learning new strategies, beating some ass after you get your ass beat? How much, uh, w how much scouting goes into this? For me, none. None? I, I think my coaches handle everything. Okay. You know, my coaches are the ones who are responsible for my opponent and figuring out a plan. Okay. Now, I start watching it, they start watching it. I might be thinking 50 different things like that. Gotcha. Because, and I also don't know, I don't know anything. Okay. I'm learning everything. Okay. So I need to have something who knows what they're doing, put me in a place where I need to be to learn. Got you, so, got you, happens. got you. Okay, all right, cool. So you said you, you, you say you don't know MMA. How'd you get started in MMA? You know, was this? It was kind of a push. I know my boyfriend a long time ago kept pushing me forward towards it, and I wasn't ready. I, I you know, I, I just wanted to keep boxing. And, okay. Um, finally, I was at the gym here. I've been here for like five years with Jay Glazer and Jay's like, you have to do So I just, all of a sudden, I was like, you know what? Okay, let's do it. And I got serious. I said, if I'm going to do this, I'm 100%. Sure. So I put the gloves down, had someone take me down, I got grinded out for a long time, and it was horrible. It's been horrible. Okay. But it's that love that you have just for fighting that makes you want to keep doing it. That, that, that competition. So... The difference, what's the immediate difference is obviously anybody can see, like any novice like me can see that boxing is just, you stand on your feet, just throw the hands. When you go to the ground in MMA or MMA and Bellator and the, the kicking, the kicks are involved now, the elbows are involved now. What, those things are easy to see. What is there that we, ha we don't see or we don't recognize who, those who do not train in MMA between boxing and MMA? Uh, you know, the big difference is, is, is the, where you're looking at, at the body. Obviously, in boxing, I've been trained to look at the shoulder and the hands. Okay. And the head. I'm okay. Not, I'm really not looking at your feet, okay. not looking at your hip. Okay. It's been a whole new experience, like doing kickboxing, is gotcha. learning to read gotcha. hips. You know, the, hip, the hips are what throw punches, the hips are what throw kicks. Everything with that has been different. Also, the same with wrestling, it's like the hips are what pull you forward. So, the hardest part, I think, as a boxer, is learning to grapple. Being on the ground, movements that we don't know. And, you know, it's been difficult, but at the same time, as an athlete, we're just we're trying to be athletes for a whole life. So, I'm trained to learn, and gotcha. that's all I've been doing. And learning and being on the ground. My camps consist of me being on the ground. I already know how to punch, so it's really just me doing everything I don't know how to do. Okay. Now, in your in your camp, again, novice question. Excuse me. Are you fighting? Any, are you are you fighting any guys in your sparring, or is it, you, is it just women? So all my training partners have been men. We did okay. bring some girls in for jiu-jitsu, but it, okay. yes, they are all men, and they all okay. are very much stronger than me, and it's, sometimes it's not fun. But, at, like I said, at the same time, I'm learning. So okay. it's, just, it's a certain amount of control that goes in with them and with myself, but at the end of the day, I'm getting the best training I can get with these people. Gotcha, gotcha. Ava, let the people know where they can find you on social media. Uh, I'm at Ava Knight on pretty much everything just with dots in the middle of my name because it got taken but Ava Knight. Ava, Ava Knight where they can find you. Now Ava I told you I got some random questions for you. Totally random questions. Yes. What is your favorite piece of furniture? 
Hey, that's a good answer. That's a fa that's a favorite in the room. I just uh, have you know. That's a favorite. Yeah, that's a favorite. Yeah, well, we don't want to we don't want to suggest that now, Eva. But you're right. We could. There's a. <laughs> there, there you go. There, you're absolutely right. Where is your favorite stereo, Ava? Stereo. Where is your favorite stereo? Is it in your car? Is it in the bedroom? Is it in the surround sound? You know, one of my favorites, my parents got me a stereo a long time ago as a kid. It was this big, it had these big subwoofers in it. And my ex boyfriend stole it. So I don't know where my favorite is. <laughs> He stole it when you broke up. That's the thing he took. He wouldn't give it back either. Not, so if, if I had them, I don't know where it is. That's a great answer. Somewhere. That's a good answer. I, I, I know you don't like the answer, but that's a great answer. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. Do you eat candy, Ava? Yes. Okay, what's your favorite piece of candy? I'm a, I'm chocolate. Chocolate. Anything chocolate? Snickers bar or the Hershey's stay, bar? I try to stay away from the chocolates that have the kids and the, and the mistreating and the GMO. So I don't okay. eat nasty. I okay. try not to eat nasty, but I'll, I'll stick with some really good dark chocolate okay. that I can find from anywhere that's even much cheaper. Okay. All right. All right, Ava. What is your favorite concert? What's been your favorite concert? Concert. Yeah. You know, my first concert I went to is DNC. So I was on tour with George Jonas training him. Okay. And I literally, for six months, got to go to this concert almost every or every other day. Uh huh. And I fell in love with it. They were so good, so high. They had a great time on the con. It almost reminded me of me fighting that these people are doing what they love to do and they're having a good time doing it. Right, right. I just fell in love with that whole experience. So we went to DNC. Okay, last question for you, um, kind of a two-part question. What's on your bucket list? Give me two things that you want to do. It doesn't have to be this year in 2020, but just two things that you want to get accomplished here before too long. What are two things? I want to see the Northern Lights. Okay, like there you go. Those, the stars are amazing. Okay. That's something that everyone should experience. I think spiritually that would be amazing. My second, yeah, I never really thought about it. Okay. Well, the Northern Lights, that's a good one. Yeah. Not, not a lot of people are going to say that. One more time, let the people know where they can find you. Find me at API on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That's super dope, baby. Thank you for your time. Yeah.